I feel like before it wasn't so much about marketing. It wasn't so much about. Oh yeah. Marketing and, 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 and you know what the whole social media and yeah. everything, it, it changed the way everything is. It wasn't handled. so much about the business. It nah. was like, I, it, it seemed like they were just trying to spread the wealth in, in a way, if you can call it that. Yeah. Okay, Ronaldinho won it this year. Okay, let's give it to someone new next year. Shevchenko won it. Yeah. You said he was tearing it up. Yeah, but I don't I don't think he should have won it. I feel like Yeah, I feel it. It was like the I, purity, more more of the purity of the game. Like, all right, like let, let's Like you already won it, Ronaldo. Let's yeah. give it to Sidan this year. Yeah. Even Sidan just I think he had one. Yeah. Ronaldo had one, even though both of them dominated that era. Yeah. I, you know, I, and Ronaldo I, won it ninety. Seven and then didn't win it again until I agree, five years later. I agree with you. Um, the only thing about Ronaldo, his injuries, man. They mm -hmm. kept they kept him out. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna take Ronaldo out of the equation and Ronaldinho maybe because you know what? No, I'm gonna keep Ronaldinho. No, I'm gonna take Ronaldinho out too because he only won in 2005, I believe. Ronaldinho because you, you know what? To me, Ronaldinho should have won it a lot more. He should have won in 2006, the year after that when Cannavaro won it, and you or know what? Probably the year before that when Shevchenko won it. But you know what? Like things happen, and like like you know, you had like the Cannavaro won the World Cup, so yeah. you know it made it a little hard. All right, you could say the same thing with Messi though. But but here's here's my thing. Yeah, I, I agree. All the with, World Cup. Years. I agree with you completely. But here's my thing. Between Messi and Ronaldo, since I'm gonna call it 2008 until now, they've been miles ahead of. They Ronaldo. have been the best. Yeah. They are. They they're in the top five. Ever, ever. And we're yeah. talking about like over 100 years of history, bro. Mm -hmm. Over 100 years. Ever. Both and of them have had the most consistent, consistent ever. careers of all time. No Except question. Except for Pelé. Yeah, you can say that. I can say it. His I only downfall it. is, oh, he didn't play in Europe. But well, back well, then was, it was, was different. different yeah. Back then it was different. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he would have tear it up in Europe. But he won, what, three World Cups or was it two only? I, I believe it was three. Because he won had 17. the perfect career. Like, nobody could ever do that again. So, 17 years old, you win the World Cup, and you dominate. You have mm -hmm. 1970 Brazil yep. team, one of the greatest ever. Yep. He He's still scoring till this day over a 1,000 goals, allegedly. <laughs> you know, so, perfect career. You can't beat that. So, again, so... It's like Michael Jordan. It's like they were damn near perfect. So, besides... Pelé, you can, I, I can argue with for Maradona just because he, he revel in it, revolution as the game. He, oh, he yeah. changed it. They are top five. Like, I know people, and, and, and to me, if Ronaldo hadn't gotten injured, he would have been top five too. I, I can argue for him not being on top five, yeah. but I can argue for him being top five. Same with Ronaldinho. Ronaldo, um, the most skillful player I've seen in my yeah. life. Hands down. Yeah. Like, what Ronaldinho was doing in his prime. Yeah. Well, Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo were doing his prime. Ronaldo was doing it. When put he was all young. them three put yep. together, and that was Ronaldo. Like his physicality, his skill, yep. his the, vision, the, his the, playmaking, the flamboyant. Like Ronaldinho yep. was flashy, flamboyant. That was Ronaldo before yeah. all of them. It was yep. just injuries kind yeah. of ruined his career. So he didn't win a Champions League. Yeah. There's little things, but he was able to win what two World Cups. Yeah, one he didn't really play, but yep. but yeah, so, the injuries kind of so, so again, like him. you know, like. Them being just on the top of everything for since 2008 to like 2017 or 2016, like, all right, like I can see why they would only give it to them too. Like I know we we're talking about sharing the yeah. wealth, yeah. and 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 I mean you can argue why they shouldn't have won in certain years or whatever, but yeah. them too, they they were ahead, they're ahead of everybody even now, miles ahead, and even and, now you would say, um, I think now. Okay, and last year was especially the the perfect year to say okay, let, let's their stop era's kind of and it's not yeah. over. They're still gonna achieve. Yeah. At Messi, yeah, I mean, Cristiano, I don't know, he's at Manchester United. They might get tenth place at the end of the year, but yeah, Messi can still win the Champions League with PSG. Huh? Um, but I think like guys like Salah, guys like Mbappe, even Neymar, if you want to say guys so, like Van Dyke, like now is that era. So I I can tell you this maybe maybe this year coming up it, it, it's gonna change it's not gonna be Ronaldo yeah. or, or Messi but if PSG wins the Champions League Messi will get it again next year who knows <laughs> who knows what what if like Salah Mbappe? breaks all the records of of the yeah. EPL scoring and and because he already he he's already the highest uh, African player to score in the Premier League I think and that's not that's not easy I mean if I you think talk I think I don't know if he just broke it because I I just saw like. Drogba freaking out about it, and he was yeah. sad. 
I don't know if he if he broke it or if he's about to break it. Mm. So he's it's gonna be broken regardless. Yeah. By Salah. So I mean. So anyway, so like I'm like, staring at the Roma jersey right now. Like I don't think anybody would have nah. predicted this. I know Chelsea let him go. Yeah. He went to Roma and he was he was good. He was decent in Roma. He was yeah. good, but he wasn't the the Egyptian Messi like they used to call him. Yeah. Now I feel like he's. I yeah. would take. I think we mentioned this. I would take him right now over Messi. If oh yeah, if I would I take him over a, Ronaldo. If I have to win a final game, or... and, and 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 then I mean you got like the, the young people coming up like Mbappe. Mm -hmm. Well, Mbappe's been around for a few years. Haaland, 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 Haaland could be. Yeah. What Lewandowski's doing? Haaland is. Haaland is, is going to break. Haaland is going to break the records, bro. and he's ten yeah. years younger than Lewandowski. Or I don't know how much I'm exaggerating, but. He no, might be well, 11 years <laughs> Well, nothing. Haaland he's is like 21. 21 and, and, and Lewandowski Lewandowski's one. like 34. Already. There you go. He's... Whew. So, Lewandowski should have won it this year. I think and, this was the again, perfect year to introduce again, a new face. Again, if uh, if they don't want to give it to him this year, they should have They should have provided one for 2020. They should have said, you know what? You got it. 2020. Yeah. It just feels like now more than before, if you play for one of the top eight nations in the world... You yeah. have an advantage where yeah, before no, 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 no. you can be from the Ukraine and win it. You can be from Liberia and win it. Well, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say that. <laughs> you can be from England and win it. I mean, England doesn't Jamaica. win major trophies. So now it feels like if you're Brazilian, Argentinian, and French, uh, you're gonna have, you know, an advantage. They, they, they do. They favor them a lot. 